Welcome to today's class. Today we'll be looking at the topic factors and multiples. Lesson 1. So we'll start with the definition of some terms. First we'll start with factor. A factor is a number that divides another number without remainder. One is a factor of every number and every number is a factor of itself. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. We say that 8 and 5 are factors of 40. Okay, let's see the definition of prime number now. A prime number is a number that has only two factors. And what are those factors? Itself and 1. To any number that only itself and one can divide is called prime number. Example of this number 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, etc. Now let's see the definition of prime factors. The prime factors of a number are the factors of a number that are prime numbers. So let's see some example. 3 and 5 are prime factors of 15. 2 and 7 are prime factors of 28. So let's go to example 1 now. And the question says express 30 and 180 as products of prime factors. So let's see how to do that. So we are going to be using prime numbers to divide. So how many times will 2 go into 30? It will go 15 times. 2 cannot go into 15, so we'll go to the next prime number, which is 3. So how many times will 3 go into 15? It will go 5 times. So 30 is the same thing as saying 2 times 3 times 5. So 2 will go into 180 90 times. 2 can still go into 90. How many times? It will go 45 times. 2 can no longer go, but 3 can go into 45. How many times will 3 go? 3 will go into 45 15 times. Okay? 3 can still go into 15, so we'll keep splitting and breaking down the large number. So how many times will 3 go? 3 will go 5 times. So 180 is the same thing as saying 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. So let's go now to index form. So index or power or exponent. These three words, they mean the same thing in mathematics. So when we say index, when we say power, when we say exponent, we are still talking about the same thing. Okay, we can see the number 2 written there with the number 5. So how do we read that in mathematics? That is read 2 raised to the power of 5. And it is the short form of saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So if 2 is multiplying itself 5 times, we'll say 2 raised to power 5. So we can see the other number there. 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 7 in index form is written 3 raised to power 2 times 5 raised to power 3 times 7. We can see there that 3 is multiplying itself 2 times. That is why it is 3 raised to power 2. Now, 5 is multiplying itself 3 times. That is why it is 5 raised to power 3 and 7 is just 7. Thank you.